Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be playing with two of Tom Ford's newest eyeshadow quads. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on them, as well as seeing a couple of tutorials, then just keep watching. are not brand new releases however they are the newest releases from Tom Ford. Tom Ford had three palettes launched I want to say about three weeks ago so I was a little late to jump on the bandwagon for that one but I did actually end up picking two of them. I finally broke down and just picked them up. I have just recently gotten into Tom Ford eyeshadow quads. I resisted for a very very long time because they are quite pricey for a quad. I did do a haul where I got a bunch of Tom Ford makeup for 50% off and that kind of did it for me and I'm ashamed to say that I have on the low low been purchasing some more Tom Ford products because I'm crazy and I'm just really currently obsessed with the brand so it really pains me to say that I actually paid full price for these items but I just I broke down I did it I had to do it so if you don't know Tom Ford eyeshadow quads they are $88 that is a lot of money but I will say his formula is so unique and it does work so beautifully it looks great on everybody I've, I just lately have been training myself so the two that I picked up this first one right here is body heat this is number three and then the other one that I picked up was double indemnity which looks like this this one's like the perfect smoky eye palette the third one that released is called suspicion i will upload a picture of it right here as you can see it's more of a lighter gold i really am attracted to it but 88 dollars <sighs> Okay, so here's just how I've been rationalizing kind of buying these. Of course, they are extremely luxurious. So when you use it, it really does make you feel special. But I will say the Tom Ford formula is very unique. I do not have a formula like this in my collection. They do the work for you. They literally blend themselves. They are so buildable. They are flattering on the eye and they look great on everybody. I also think what makes the formula really stand out is just how sophisticated it looks on your eye you can throw a bunch of random colors together and everything just looks so sophisticated and sultry so if you are looking for sultry smoky kind of eyes Tom Ford is the best brand for that I think by swatching and looking at the quads they do not look like anything special but you will see with application just how unique and beautiful that they are so the first eyeshadow quad that I'm going to be playing with is body heat this one has some more neutral tone taupes a really light shimmery color and then more of a reddish brown color right here so i'm just going to take you guys straight into the tutorial so the only thing on my eyelids right now is the mac painterly paint pot so this look you will see is super simple so I'm going to start off with this color right here. I'm using the Isom G34. This is one of my favorite brush for that initial transition color because it just applies the right amount of product and covers the perfect amount of surface area. I find that with these shadows, the brush you use really dictates how they are going to look, which is very, very important because these shadows can go on very very pigmented but if you're using the correct brush like this one diffuses color perfectly it deposits the most perfect amount of color and as you can see just from that the shadow literally blends itself now it is kind of more of a deeper color on the lid and i personally don't think i'm crazy about this color i feel like the color itself kind of looks a little bit muddy and that's just my own personal preference the quality of it is spot on but it's not my favorite shade. So now I'm going in with the Wayne Goss number 19 and I'm dipping into that same shade and I'm just applying this to my lower lash line. I mean, you truly cannot deny that these colors don't blend themselves. It's ridiculous. So next I'm taking a Refer number one brush and we're going to go into this deeper chocolate shade right here. Now this, again, when you swatch it, you don't think that it's going to be all that special on the eyes or work that well or be all that pigmented. But oh my gosh, it just definitely applies in a way that you don't expect. 
So this is just going to add depth to the eye. So next I'm taking the Refer number no. 2 brush. This is a great brush to just lay down color. We're going to dip into this color right here and I'm just putting that underneath my brow bone right here. As you can see, this deposits a lot of shine and I used my brush completely dry. So everything up until this point I've done dry. Now I'm going to apply that same color. I'm just going to wet my brush first. So the great thing about these eyeshadow palettes is that they are a wet dry formula and I think they work amazing as it is <laughs> dry. So wet is really just going to pick up that intensity. Such a simple look. Okay, so that's all of the eyeshadow. I am going to put on eyelashes, eyeliner, and all of that, and I will be right back. Here's the final look. I just put on some eyelashes and some brown eyeliner. One thing that I notice a lot with Tom Ford quads is when I'm applying them, I really just think they look muddy. This is not the first time that I thought the look was kind of muddy looking and then once it's all together I'm like wait that's not muddy at all that is beautiful so a lot of times when I do apply these I do think I don't like them and that they're muddy and then it just all comes together in the end this palette has no matte shades just the formula of Tom Ford you don't need matte shades they kind of blend out to how you want them if you want them a little bit more matte and less shimmery use a fluffy brush and that kind of gets rid of some extra sheen and then if you do want it super shimmery wet it and put it on your eyelids this palette is just very customizable to how you want it it just depends on the tools you use and if you use it wet or not yeah overall I really do you could like this palette. I will say of the Tom Ford palettes, I wouldn't say this one is my favorite, but it did perform uh, up to par with the regular Tom Ford quality, which again is amazing. So yes, <laughs> this is the look I created. That's my thoughts on this quad. I do like it a lot. So let's move on to Double Indemnity. I'm going to forward you to my next look. For Double Indemnity, uh, we're just going to go all in for the first color. I'm taking my Refer number no. 2 brush and I'm taking this sparkly black shade. And I'm actually going to be using this wet so I get less fallout and a little bit more glitter. And I'm just going to pack this straight onto the eyelid. So as you can see, there's a lot of glitter. It's so pretty. So as you can see, it starts off quite messy. So I'm going to take this shade with a refer number one brush and this is what I'm going to use to blend it out. Uh, be careful not to bring it too high because then you'll start to look a little <laughs> dirty. I kind of brought it a little bit too high on this side so I'm going to try and correct that later. But I'm just using this shade to blend out those edges and as you can see everything is blending with ease okay so for the next step I'm taking my refer number no. three brush and I'm taking this shade right here and this is what I'm going to use as my inner corner highlight this inner corner highlight is very very important because this is such a a dark look you really want this to kind of brighten everything all right so i'm just going to complete my face makeup and i'll be right back to work on the lower lash line with you guys okay. so on the lower lash line i'm going to start off with this shade right here this shade by the way would be gorgeous all over the eyelid but we just didn't have time to do that look i'm using the wayne goss number 19 brush by the way now i'm taking my refer number three brush and I'm going to dig into the black again, and I'm going to very, very carefully line that as close to my lower lashes as possible. All right, so I'm going to go off to do liner lashes and lips, and I will be right back. Alrighty, so this is the completed look with the Double Indemnity palette. Obviously, it's very, very dramatic, but I wanted to do a more difficult look to really test these eyeshadows. And I have to say, I really, really love this palette. If you are a smoky eye lover, you are going to love this. And I mean, you don't have to pack this black all over the lid. You can really use these three to get a really cool smoky eye. But that black glitter shade is amazing. So... I definitely really like this. Of the two, I will say I think I like Double Indemnity better. I don't know. I just really liked the colors. And this, this look that I created can go really bad with the wrong shadows, but everything blended out beautifully. There wasn't a ton of fallout, and I mean, I'm wearing black. This palette was beautiful as well, but I just think there are other 
eyeshadow quads in the Tom Ford line that I just like more. So for the most part, I think these two eyeshadows are beautiful. They are definitely up to the quality with other Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes. I mean, I'm just going to make a quick statement about this. Do I think Tom Ford eyeshadows are worth $88? If you don't have the money, no. Don't waste $88 on an eyeshadow quad. However, if you like the luxury experience, you like the Tom Ford eyeshadow formula, I definitely would say that it is worth the money. I think the texture of Tom Ford's eyeshadows are really good for mature skin because they aren't really matte, so they aren't going to look too dry on the skin and they're going to blend beautifully over more mature skin. So if you have mature skin, Tom Ford quality is for you. These two though, I think there are prettier eyeshadows personally already in the regular line, uh, but of the new releases, I really am into Double Indemnity. So basically, I just wanted to make a video of me playing with the new Tom Ford palettes that I got. I'm so excited for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any Tom Ford quads, let me know what your favorite is down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a great day.